Hola, amigos y amigas. Espero que se encuentran muy bien. I hope everybody's doing really well. Um, today, we are going to make a rabbit on the moon, or un conejo en la luna. If you're wondering why we are going to make a conejo in la luna, it's because that's what our story this week is about. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to and watch our story, you might like to do that before we do this craft, so you understand why we're making a conejo in la luna. Okay, vamos a empezar. Let's begin. So what we will need, we will need pintura or paint. Um, two different shades would be great and any moon colors will do. I have azul and kind of like a gris, cafe, brownish gray. Um, you can do any color you like, silver or white, or brown or black or even yellow or golden. Um, any colors that you would like, but two different colors would be great. Um, necesitas papel, paper, or cardstock, which is a little bit thicker. Um, you will need a measuring cup, a sort of a smaller measuring cup, like a half cup, a fourth cup, or a third cup. This is a third cup, doesn't really matter. Aluminio or tin foil. Um, it can be all scrunched up and old like this, that's fine. Um, you will need to make your conejo. If you like, you may draw your own conejo and cut it out and color it yourself. Or if you would like, you can print out the little outline of a conejo that I sent to uh, moms and dads. Um, and I think, oh, and we need something round to draw our circle with. I'm using a bowl, something to draw the circle with, and tijeras. That's everything. So the first thing we will do, primer paso, is to make our conejo. Now I already made my conejo. Um, it looks like this. My conejo is morado because our color this week is morado and the conejo in our story is morado. So I cut my conejo out from this outline and I painted him with acuarelas or watercolors. I put up lots of morado and a little bit of negro to make him look kind of shadowy because he's on La Luna. So again, you can draw your own conejo or you can cut one out from the outline and you can use crayons or markers or acuarelas or whatever you like to make your conejo. So that's paso uno. And while your conejo is drying, if you did use watercolors, we'll go on to making our Luna. So for our Luna, let's see, let's do this. Um, I already cut out my Luna, but I will show you what it looks like. You would take your bowl, put it face down, and you would draw a circle all the way around the bowl. And then with your tijeras, you would cut your circle until you get un circulo perfecto como esto. This is a luna llena, a full moon. Okay. Y luego, me voy a poner mi luna aquí. I'm going to put my moon here so I don't make a mess. And I'm ready to make my stamp. So, to make the stamp, this is kind of fun. You have your uh, measuring cup and you just kind of scrunch the old tin foil in there or the new tin foil. And you can kind of make a handle. See how I'm kind of I'm pinching it together at the top to make a bit of a handle. I kind of flatten the rest down and pinch the top so that little fingers can grab it. And you've got a little um, stamp. And so what we're going to do with the stamp, well, you might also like something to put your paint in. I've got a paper plate here. I've got an old stamp. Remove that. Um, you take your two different kinds of pintura. I'm going to put my azul and my cafe gris and you put it in the plate and so all you do this is kind of fun is you dip your stamp in the plate or in the paint excuse me and then you put it kind of press it down on your papel and it makes lots of kind of grooves so it looks sort of like the craters on the moon because the moon's not smooth right the moon is very bumpy. It has lots of craters or big holes in the rock that look kind of like this. So we just keep going until we cover our whole 
Luna. I'm starting with my Café Gris because I need Coco Mas a little bit more. And press, press, press. Cover my whole Luna. Todo mi Luna. And I might just kind of use the edges just to bring the paint to the edges. And then I can press some more to get my texture back. Now I'm going to press again, press, press, presiona we say in Spanish, presiona, presiona. And I'm going to get my other color, mi otro color, which is for me azul, and it's going to kind of mix it in with my gris cafe, so it's not too, too azul. So now I've got some nice azul on my stamp. I'm going to put that on top of the cafe, cafe gris, and I just kind of make different patches on my Luna. This little moon has different shades on it, right? Some parts look dark, some parts look light. So I'm gonna make my moon look kind of like that. Y cuando me gusta, when I like it, I will finish. It's really pretty fun, I have to say. So I have kind of a Luna Azul, a blue moon. And there she is. And while the pintura, while the paint is still wet, we can take our conejo, here's my conejo, and we just put our conejo right into the paint. And our conejo will stick. And there we have it, amigos. Un conejo in la luna. And if you look up to the sky at night, perhaps you will see something similar. And our beautiful Luna. So that was fun, guys. Enjoy doing this at home. And nos vemos pronto. We'll see you soon. Adios.